Hello, Rocksmith. My name is Jay. Uh, I've had Rocksmith since Christmas of 2011, so I've been playing it for roughly nine, ten months. Um, try and play it as often as I can. I work a lot. I'm a software engineer, so my schedule's crazy, um, which leads me into how I've tried to learn guitar in the past. I tried playing learning guitar when I was much younger, when I was uh, 14 or 15. Um, got electric guitar. Got some lessons from a friend, but never really went too far. Traded that in, uh, picked up a bass because I really like the bass. And uh, I've still got my bass. It's sitting across the room. It's 20 years old. Um, but uh, that was around 17. Then I took a long break. And last year, I picked up an acoustic guitar. And then earlier this year, I picked this up um, for better playing with Rocksmith. And um, Rocksmith really helped me out because... Uh, since I don't have a lot of free time, I don't have time to go to places to take lessons or whatnot. It's allowed me to work on my dexterity with my hands, um, you know, being able to move up and down the fretboard, know where the strings are, you know, uh, when to pluck the string, when to, you know, where the frets are and everything else. Um, so Rocksmith really um, helped out with that because I can come home and unwind and be like, you know, I want to play some of these great songs that I can play a thousand times. I get to learn new songs and from artists that maybe I didn't know before or some of my old favorite artists and new favorite artists. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and it's really made a difference because instead of just trying to sit there and practice your chords and, and your notes and your strumming techniques or picking techniques or whatever, you're kind of thrown in and you have to do that with Rocksmith right away. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's really helped in that regard. And, um, it, with the game ramping up with you and ramping down, if it's too hard has really helped because when I struggle at certain parts of songs, it'll, um, you know, throttle back so that I can get better at playing it. Um, it's, uh, it's really just made practice extremely enjoyable because I, I can just play for hours or I can play for a few minutes and, and have a great time. Um, you know, the the fact that the game does um, start off easy and, and you just play a few notes here and there until you are successful and it, it ramps up as you go through the phrases, that's one of the best features of the game because nobody boos you off the stage or anything else like in the other old games that people used to play and you actually learn and enjoy and kind of feel encouragement as you go through the song and you can see your results immediately after. Um, if you're struggling on a section, you can stop and go do the riff repeater and do it at different rates or, or you know, there's different features in there so that you can really hone in on that part of the song, like especially with solos or, or trickier parts where as you moving up and down your fretboard a lot, because um, when you're a new player, it can make it really hard to traverse the neck <laughs> that quickly. Um, it's, uh, you know, it, it's just been phenomenal. I was just thinking when this contest came out, to myself that I feel like I haven't really progressed that far, but then when I play and see my results, and although I'm still not great with chords and the combo versions of all the songs, that I've, I I can see myself improving just by the score on the screen. You know, the percentage phrases complete, some of the single note songs I've, you know, hit mastery level. I haven't tried mas master mode yet. I'm not quite there, but um, but it, it feels pretty good. You get some encores when you play events and you know, that lets you know that you really kicked butt playing that event and, you know, you've been rewarded with getting to play this other song and, um, you know, you, everyone wants to try and get your double encore. So, you know, the, the gamification part of the game is what really um, makes learning the guitar a lot of fun. Um, you know, there's a lot of online resources people trying to use even myself to, to learn guitar and they are helpful for getting to learn notes and, and, and chords, but th there's just no practical playing experience and you know um th this just makes it um, awesome you know there's there's people that give up out there or get frustrated or they just pick up the guitar every now and then and i could say i was one of those people i've been my bass sit around for 20 years i would just pick it up every couple of years dust it off and say this is the year i'm going to relearn to play and never would and busy busy life life and you know i've, I've played more in you know, the last nine months between my guitar and my bass than I did in the combined last 20 or so years between having my bass and the guitar I had before that. So if you're thinking of quitting or 
or getting frustrated. It might just be a matter of giving you the, the tools to play and, and have a lot of fun when you play. I mean, if, if what's making you crazy is just the mundane, you know, practice your scales and, um, you know, and going through the octaves and all that, you know, that it can, you don't feel like you're getting results because you're just doing the same monotonous thing over and over. And, you know, there's something to be said about doing that, but at the same time, why not do it while you're having fun? I mean, you can play the same song 10 times in a row if you want and go through and, and get better at it and, and work on your skills. And, you know, the, it'll show you the chords that are coming across the screen. You get to learn a lot, you know, techniques challenges are phenomenal, you know, learning how to do hammer-ons and pull-offs, um, you know, harmonics, which are, you know, hit and miss for me, but a lot of fun playing bends properly. All those things are phenomenal. So, you know, um, you just got to get out there and get it and play it. And it's worth every penny. And the fact that you can play your guitar and your bass, it, it, it's just a blast. Getting my bass back out again has been phenomenal. But, you know, most importantly, having the guitar has is, is really been um, just just awesome. So I really thank Rocksmith for putting out such a great game and continually adding new content and adding the bass feature. I think anybody that gets it, it's going to just love it. So thanks again, and I'll try and play a little unnatural selection. I am not very good at it. In all honesty, it's a song I've skipped a number of times because it's a it was a little bit a bit above my uh, skill level. So I've practiced it a few times. I'm only going to play single note, and it's going to be pretty brutal. But bear with me. I appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs>
best I could do, but that was a lot of fun. In fact, that just shows how far I've gone. I just had way more notes to play there and uh, didn't have my uh, best score ever, but it was a lot of fun. Thanks.